All baptized Christians are called into ministry, into the priesthood we all share. Some are called into church vocations, others into secular vocations. Among the people of God, some are also called into a deeper commitment of love, service, and community that occurs in the life of a religious order. A Franciscan is called to proclaim the gospel, to make worship the center of one's life, and to participate in the apostolic work of rebuilding Christ's church. This Franciscan charism is a public witness that models Christ-like sacrifice as an example for all people to emulate. Remember the words of St. Paul. As servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, hardships, and distress, in beatings, imprisonments, and riots, in hard work, sleepless nights, and hunger. In purity, understanding, patience, and kindness. In the Holy Spirit and in sincere love. In truthful speech and in the power of God. Through glory and dishonor. Bad rapport and good rapport. Genuine, yet regarded as imposters. Known, yet regarded as unknown. Dying, and yet we live on. Beaten and yet not killed, sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, poor, yet making many rich, having nothing, and yet possessing everything. Before Almighty God, to whom you must give an account, and in the presence of this community, I ask you, will you accept the call into life profession? And as a poor servant of Christ perform the work of a friar in the church and world, if so, each answer, I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. The order in which you are making life profession confesses that the Holy Scriptures are the inspired word of God. We confess the ecumenical creeds and acknowledge the Lutheran confessions as true and faithful witnesses of the gospel. We also accept the writings of St. Francis and Claire of Assisi as essential to the shaping of our life together. Will you, as a sibling within this community, strive to live in accordance with the Holy Scriptures in these creeds and confessions? If so, answer, I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. Will you conform your life to the general rule of this word, living a life of prayer, Worship, service, and accountability. If so, answer, I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. I will and I ask God to help me. At this time, I invite you to make your life profession. Do you make your final vow of poverty? To witness in word and deed your detachment from material possessions and your commitment to the poor of the world. Do you vow by your own example to encourage God's people to seek to be just and holy in their use of money and wealth? If so, answer, I do so vow. I do so vow. I do so vow. Do you make your final vow of chastity to seek to love all without distinction? Do you vow to exemplify holiness in the relationships you have with others, whether it be family, co-worker, friend, or stranger, if so answer, I do so vow. I do so vow. I do so vow. Do you make your final vow of obedience? To be held accountable for your walk as a Franciscan? Do you vow to honor the wisdom of the order's leadership and the pastoral leaders of the church? And to answer to those who have a right to require it of you, if so answer, I do so vow. I do so vow. And you, brothers and sisters, my siblings gathered, speaking on behalf of the whole order, will you receive Brother Joseph and Brother Ken as life-professed criers of this community? Will you love them as brothers, work alongside them as co-workers, and in all things let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to your heavenly parent? If so, answer, we will and we ask God to help. We will and we ask God to help us.
Almighty God, who has given you the will to do these things, graciously grant you the strength and mercy to perform them. Amen. I invite um, any of our folks who are here who are life professed to come, including any who are life professed in any of our ecumenical Franciscan communities. Almighty God, Heavenly Creator, continue to bless this child of yours. By the power of your Holy Spirit, enable Brother Kenneth to be a humble friar in your church. Give him the gifts to live out his vows, serving as a light of your love for all the world. In the name of Jesus. Receive and wear your hat as a sign of your calling to serve Christ and his people. Confess your faith in Christ, rebuild his church, and bear in your heart the love of Jesus, who died for you and for all people. Amen. I want you to stand and face the community. Brother Ken and Brother Joseph have made their final vows and have received the habit of this order. Therefore, I declare them life-professed friars of the Order of Lutheran Franciscans in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. 